Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome back. What's this again? Oh yeah, welcome back to Garden of Glass, the official Britannia mod pack, or the official Garden of Glass mod pack, or... Okay, I'm getting my voice back. Okay, so Luffy got a new microphone, and we, we decided not to test it. I'm, I'm gonna go and uh, turn the settings down. Okay, I'm not getting my voice back now. Uh, hi Luffy. Okay, no, that's that's a bad idea. <laughs> well, that's what we get for being in the same room, I guess. We can't really avoid that, though, can we? Uh, hopefully, hearing the voices all overlapping isn't a problem. Uh, I'll try and find a way to fix that at some point. But yeah, welcome back. Uh, since last episode, we've been growing some wheat here. Uh, it's within range of the water source over there, and we just put it... Um, on the same level as it, otherwise it wasn't working for some reason. Uh, we've kept the grass because we're going to need that for a few things in uh, Britannia, um, especially getting the magical flowers, and we've been getting a lot of wood. Uh, but on which food? We do have some apples, but we I think we want to save them, or do we just... Oh no, we can probably just eat them. Uh, I'll have one apple, Luffy. Um, okay, so... Uh, what we want to do first is work on a few of the Britannia plants, uh, and that in that begins with getting a petal apothecary. So first thing we're going to do is make some petals from one of the flowers, and make a petal apothecary. Uh, and now you can make uh, bowls. Uh, let's quickly check the recipe for bowl. Uh, yeah. Just with wood, the way you would usually do it. I was wondering if it was a different recipe, I couldn't remember. Um, and you just right click this water source and you'll fill the bowl up with water. And so instead of needing a bucket, you can just put the water there inside the petal apothecary. So I'll go down and refill this one. Like so. Put all of that away. And we now have our petal apothecary. Now, what can we do with the petal apothecary? Uh, I think Luffy's actually. Are you working on a mob platform? Okay, uh, Luffy's working on a mob platform because we're going to need some things like bone meal so that we can save our uh, living roots. Uh, we'll probably get rid of that block there, that's kind of annoying. Um, and I'm going to work on things like mana generation. So, uh, Britannia works in a way, you probably already know this because it's like, it's not a new mod anymore. Uh, it works in a way where it's based off of, let's see, is this the one? Nope. Options, oops. Music and sounds. Uh, jukebox, notebook. Nope. It's probably in its own settings. Uh, Britannia works in a way where it runs off of um, mana. So mana being like the kind of power almost. Yeah, there's no way to turn the volume down on that. Okay, so mana being the kind of power system, and that's generated with generating flora. So we want to start. Let's see. Passive flowers, nitro, will decay into a dead... Okay, yeah, passive flowers now decay, so we'll go into that later. Uh, but the first thing we want to make is a day bloom. Uh, these will uh, generate mana from the sun, and we're going to need a few things to make them. So first we're going to need some yellow petals, which we don't actually have many of. Uh, we're going to need some blue and some orange. Uh, let's see, light blue. Yep, that's the one we've got. So, let's turn these to petals. And we're going to need some seeds. Luffy, do you have any seeds? No, okay. We can't make this without seeds. Uh, but we're just throwing the petals that we need there. So there's the petals, you just throw them in. You can use Q in your inventory. Into thing. Uh, I'm going to just grab one of these seeds that we were growing, just to make a day bloom, because uh, we're going to need that. There we go, Daybreak Arrival Achievement, and that will make mana. So we'll just leave that there. Uh, we are going to need... Oh, There's our first mobs. Oh! Uh, okay, I'm going to make a sword. <laughs> That might be a safe idea. Oops. 
get my vanilla recipes right. I'm gonna make a sword. Like so. And. Mm. Oh. Maybe we should have. Oh, there's creepers as well. Uh, maybe we should have lighting over there until we uh, fully set it up. That might be a good idea. Oh, but yeah, where were, we? where were we? Okay, so we made the plant. And next thing we're going to need is a wand of the forest. Uh, this will let us see the progress. So that's going to be living wood. So the first thing that we want to focus on is if we go to basics. Uh, we have this thing here called the pure daisy. Now the pure daisy is not only the most basic but also the most important flower because it will modify uh, wood and stone blocks into their purified counterparts being living wood and living rock. Uh, and we're going to need some living wood for the wand. So I'm going to have to grab another one of these seeds. And do we have... We do not. Okay, we're going to need either bone meal or living... Where's all the living root? Do you have any living root, Luffy? We had 20 something. Now we've only got 8. I had at least 16 when I was trying to get stuff. Uh, did you use any for bone milling wheat? When you needed bread? Yeah. Oh. Well, okay. Hopefully I can get what we need from a couple of floral fertilizer then. Uh, this is going to be entirely a game of chance here. And we're not getting lucky. Um, let's see how, uh, if we can do this. So we're going to use this floral fertilizer and try and get some more of the white flowers. Hopefully we can do that. Um, that's not white. Come on. Come on, white flowers. None of those are white. <laughs> We're getting every colour but white. This is ridiculous. Oh, come on. If we don't get white, we might be slightly screwed. Because the only other way to get bone meal is bones. And then to get fertiliser. No, we won't be screwed, actually. Okay, I'm going to sacrifice these last two last two living root, uh, and if we don't get, you yeah, know, we didn't get white. Okay, so in not getting white, uh, we have to get bone meal. That's the position we're in. Oh, that is annoying. Well, there is a skeleton. Let's try and see if that will work. Okay, I have a sword, and the skeleton is probably going to die. Over here, there are bones. Monster hunter. Okay, I have bones. Good bone meal. So uh, this actually lets us show a uh, recipe in the mod, uh, in the mod pack. So uh, here is your pickaxe and your axe, and that's pretty much all you need. <laughs> uh, can you get rid of? Oh, never mind. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I want uh, you want to have the plat the platform one block higher than the road up to it. You have the platform too low. Okay. Um. Okay, dokie. So, uh, what do we need? We need a thing in the pack called a mortar and pestle. So let's. Uh, we need a bowl, a stick, and a piece of wood, like. So, yeah, that makes a pestle and mortar. We want some petals. Let's see what we have the most of. Grey, no, magenta. Okay, grab some magenta and we want two of those plants. There we go. Combine four of these petals. Uh, nope. We want to combine those with the pestle and mortar to get some. Uh, floral magenta flower powder and then we can make three three 
floral fertilizer, and then we can use that. So we're not totally screwed. Uh, there we go, white, finally. And then we can use it up. Oh, we get two white. Really? Really? Okay. So let's turn these into petals. Uh, we should have seeds. Uh, one, two, three, four, and one. There's our pure daisy. I'm going to place it uh, on this piece of dirt over here. And then I'm going to get some logs. Like so. And put them around the pure daisy and wait for it to make living wood. So we'll wait for it to make living wood uh, and do a few work on that platform over there. And I'll also make sure the audio is okay. And then we'll be right back. Night time. Okay, so we have what we need. So I made some living rock, which is with stone around the thing, and then some living wood, which is uh, like logs around the pure daisy. Now we can make a few things. So the first thing we need is, of course, the wand. Two, three. We're going to need three of these living wood twigs. And two, like any petals, and they'll affect what the for uh, wand looks like. I'm going with the magenta ones. Uh, because that's the flower we have the most of. Not because I like magenta, which I... <laughs> I couldn't really say I do like it, but I couldn't really say I don't like it. Okay. Anyway, so we have the Wand of the Forest. Uh, next up, we're going to need a spreader. A mana spreader. So we're going to need another petal. We just happen to have a lot of blue uh, now that's near the top. Maybe I should have gone with blue instead of purple since we've got a good amount of that. Oh, well. I'll go with uh, the light blue petal and seven living wood to make it spreader. Usually you need a piece of gold in vanilla Britannia, but this is garden of glass. Uh, and then I'm going to use five living rock and get a diluted mana pool. Uh, this means that if we go over here where we have the day bloom, which we can now check for the mana amount of, it's full, though it doesn't have a great storage capacity. We can place down our spreader leading to a pool, and this should uh, if we go to linking mode, shift right click, shift right click, get out of linking mode, and this should all start to fill up in the mana spreader. This will start to fill up the mana pool eventually, and then we'll be able to upgrade to a better one. Now we're gonna... Oh my gosh. Uh, Luffy, your mobs are spawning in the wrong place. Don't put a roof up there. <laughs> uh, you might want to get slabs there as soon as possible. And you won't get shot at. Uh, I think we need torches on top of that roof. Um, it. Yeah, we don't really need a roof. Just put torches up there. If you have any. Uh, but yeah, we're using the platform to get bone meal. Uh, we have now got set up slowly but surely able to get mana. Now it's currently night time. <laughs> so that's not really uh, getting anywhere. Uh, uh, but let's see. One of the first things we're definitely going to need for food will eventually... Uh, why do I keep spelling it like that? Cocoon. Let me quickly check the recipe. String, mana steel, pumpkin. Uh, this is another reason we need the platform uh, for this uh, fell pumpkin. So we need gunpowder, rotten flesh, string, and bones. Uh, plus a pumpkin, which we can get pumpkin seeds from wheat, but first we need to get a good store of it for food. Uh, and then, once we've got that, all we need is some iron, which we can get, and some string, which we can get. So this is a cool early game thing that will hatch into any, like, friendly mob. Uh, this will include a villager, so we could get lucky, or in this case, unlucky, I guess, uh, with a villager. Uh, let's see how this is going. Oh yeah, that's not doing anything. I keep thinking it's going to be doing something, uh, but it's midnight. Um, hopefully we'll get some good mobs. Um, but yeah, that'll allow us to get uh, certain animals like sheep, chickens, cows and stuff. Hopefully a cow and then a second cow would be great um, if we could eventually get that, because then we can start getting food. Uh, but let's see where we stand here. So we have, let's see, runic altar, one of the forest better, uh, flower pouch, terra seal. Don't need any of the things here anymore. Uh, mana manipulation, mana pool, mana spreader, sparks, detector, 
Flux field, mana on rails, mana void. We don't need any of this mana star. Uh, nope. We don't need any of this stuff. Generating flora, we currently have the day bloom. A nightshade might be pretty good to make. Let's see. Purple, black, grey. Do we have purple, black, and grey? There we go. So, oops. Uh, let's make some of those. Uh, this one makes mana at night. Uh, but we need more seeds, so with this bone meal, because we don't need it for much else, uh, I'm gonna get this wheat. This will give me extra seeds. Great. So I'll plant those, uh, one of those seeds. We can use the other one over here. Let's see. Uh, one, 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 two, one. There we go. Now I'm gonna place it directly next to the day bloom, uh, because the way day blooms and I think nightshades also work uh, is that they don't. Uh, they produce less mana if they have the exact same flower next to them. Uh, it can only be diagonal, so like we'll have a day bloom in the corners and a nightshade in the central ones. Uh, but this should start to slowly produce mana. Uh, very, very slowly. We're going to need more of these. Uh, but one thing to note with these flowers is they do die now. Uh, something that was recently added into Britannia is decaying flowers. That could be a bit of an issue. Hopefully not, though. Uh, yeah, caveats of passive generation. Anything that p passively generates, um, uh, get it from a complete free resource such as Sun of Water, and uh, at the start only very basic ones are available. These flowers are required to advance onto more potent and effective ones, but they should not be relied on uh, aside from being a stepping stone, as they will decay into a dead bush after three Minecraft days. So that's something to bear in mind. You only have these for three Minecraft days. Are mobs still spawning over there now, Luffy? Okay, good. Oh, bones. Okay, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna use this bone meal on crops, because I feel like getting food now is our top priority. Ah, just... What, of mobs? <laughs> Perfect. That's exactly what we want. Oops. Plant those seeds. Yeah, you can get rid of that stone, uh, cobblestone there as well. Don't really need that. It's kind of in the way. Um, let's see. Uh, we can now make one slice of bread. Yeah, there's a lot of mobs now, and they just readily come over here. We can just oh oh yeah yeah okay. I'll leave you to do that, it's a bit noisy, I'll have to turn down hostile mob sounds over there. Uh, but Luffy will get some stuff, uh, and we are at a certain point. We may be starting to finish up the episode here, and just doing some stuff uh, outside of recording, because there's not really much to show you right now, it's all uh, mana generation stuff. Uh, so what we're going to try and do between episodes... Ah, and as you can see the spread has started to fill up a bit, is we're going to try and get enough mana in this diluted mana pool uh, to make a proper mana pool, and then uh, by uh, come next episode we'll possibly be able to start working uh, on making uh, Hydroangeus or Endoflame. Uh, Hydroangeus just use water. Uh, we don't actually have access to an unlimited water source, so forget that. Um... So we may just be going with the endo flames, but that depends on how much wood we get. So we're going to have to start growing even more trees uh, between episodes. Uh, there we go. We've got our first little, little bit of mana in here. Ooh, a seed. Ah! Oh, we got a carrot! Okay, I think I'm getting my voice back now, but yes, a carrot. That is great. Okay. Carrots is great because we can then start getting potatoes and then pumpkin seeds, so that's perfect. Uh, we can make another slice of bread. Uh, do you need food? Okay, I'll eat this one then. And start to regen my health. We're getting some extra seeds, that's good. So uh, we've been pretty profitable actually this episode. We got some food, we got a mob platform set up, and we have our basic mana gen. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode of... Garden of Glass, the official mod pack. 
Um, if you did, don't forget to leave a like. Let us know that you did enjoy it and that you'd maybe like to see more. Uh, what do you want? Uh, <laughs> that could be an issue. Uh, but yeah, if you did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a like. Let us know that you would like to see more. And we will see you next time. Bye bye. Oh wow, that that's like really bad. You you do realize that? See you. Ah, okay. Ah, no, no, bye bye, bye bye. No.